Welcome back. We are here looking at the indices, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Wednesday, July 20th, 2022. If you like to support the channel, you can hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our news videos, and all my trades and my portfolio are available in the link down below. So we'll start by looking at the W uh, at the Nasdaq, sorry. And as you can see, we have had an absolutely explosive day. So yesterday we basically rallied above the 50 moving average and gave all of those gains back. And today we have just crushed it. So we're up more than three percent. We are still it is still there's basically no pullback at the end of the US session, which is a very bullish shine. But we are basically at the top of the bullish band. So a pullback um, could be expected. But um, given that this bullish run, it looks like we are continuing within this channel that we are starting to form. And as long as this is the case, then we may go higher. And there is an area around here that should offer a lot of resistance. That is roughly at the 12.7 up towards the 13 AK. And after that is up towards the 200 moving average. And that, as we saw back uh, all the way back in, in April, that offered massive amount of of resistance, but still, that's roughly two thousand um, two thousand dollars to the upside. So quite a massive move if that were the case. But in a bear market, you will definitely see these rallies to the upside, which are very very volatile, and they can just completely break to the downside. Uh, we have not had the interest rates uh, pronouncement from the Federal Reserve. Uh, what kicked off this is most likely the CPI from Europe, which basically came in as expected. So um, market basically took that as um, that inflation has basically peaked. And from now on, we will basically go uh, reverse. That's a big maybe. Uh, uh, some things that have caused inflation to drop is basically that most commodities have basically fallen off a cliff. And going forward, we could see um, the prices stabilize or go back to more normal levels, uh, but that is to be seen. If you look at technical indicators for the uh, for the Nasdaq, we see the MACD is bullish, stochastic is bullish, and the RSI is also bullish with a lot of room still to the upside. We could head towards around uh, 12.5 to 12.8 before uh, pulling back towards this if this basically channel um, holds. But we have a closing above the 50 moving average, and usually that is a uh, bullish shine. So to the S&P 500, also here uh, buying into the close, and we are above the 50 moving average. We are approaching 4,000, breaking above 4,000. Well, that could open the door to 4,085, uh, which all is all the way up here. As a previous lows here, and also the previous highs here, we should be a significant barrier. After that, the 200 moving average comes into play, which is at 3,000, 4,357 at this current stage. As I said earlier, yes, we are still in the bear market. Uh, there's no doubting that. And these rallies, as we saw them here, they do occur and uh, they are very violent, uh, both to the upside and also to the downside. So. So uh, even though we crossed the 50 moving average does not mean that we are basically at the end of this downturn. It just means that in the next few weeks or months, we may see the market rally and then completely take your head off. If you look at MACD, it is still bullish. Stochastic is barely bullish and the RSI is bullish as well. If you look at the Dow Jones, we can see that it's also has rallied um, where you have the Dow Jones, um, give or take 2.5%. Uh, and we are way above the 50 moving average and basically no pullback at the end of the session. Also here, we have an area of give or take 32.4 uh, all the way up to 33.4, uh, which should be um, area of resistance. After that is the 200 moving average, which is at, uh, at 34 at this current stage. If we break to the downside, then we have 30.1 uh, and then we have 29.6 as um, support levels. If we look at technical indicators, we see the MACD is bullish, stochastic is bullish, and the RSI is bullish as well. So 50 moving average has offered support in the past. That has been broken um, today. 
And the question is how far we basically can go to the upside for a weekend rejection here and just drop down. European market, DAX absolutely exploded to the upside. It was above 3% at one point, but we are approaching the 50 moving average. So 20, we did really struggle there. We have broken above that 50. We will most, I will also struggle there. That is around this area here, which is a previous lows here as well. So that should be an area where we could get rejected. If we're big above that, then we have the 200 moving average, which is at 14.6K at this current stage. And then we have the double top here, which also should offer a massive amount of resistance right around the 200 moving average. So to the upside, there's a lot of work to be done. Technical indicators, all of them are very bullish, but we could get rejected at a 50. We could also rally all the way up towards the 200 moving average and get rejected there. Breaking about the 200 and also this double top, then it starts to be much more bullish for uh, the DAX. So let's look at the Japanese Nikkei and we can see that we have rally up towards the 200 moving average. So we're approaching an area of massive resistant and yes the question is whether or not we manage to break above here and also break above give or take 28.4k after that is 29.3 29.9 and then 30.6 to the downside we have the bottom here which is roughly 28 25.8 and if you look at how we market has behaved when getting to the to the um 200 moving average it has absolutely been crushed so both here and also here we have dropped to to the base at the bottom of the bullish band also to the very bottom here so we could see something similar to this dropping back to the very lows of 25k if you look at technical indicators we can see the macd is bullish stochastic is bullish and rsi is bullish so uh, momentum is definitely to the upside at this point so let's look at the vix vix has well, it did drop all the way down 26.55 and then gave most of those um, basically that drop uh, back. If you look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is about to become bullish. Stochastic is bearish and the RSI is bearish as well. So the upside, we have the 50 moving average right here that should offer uh, resistance. We also have the 27 moving average here, which also offers resistance. And down here, the 200 moving average, which should offer support. So getting down here, that could be a catalyst to the upside as we saw also here but breaking below the 200 moving average that opens the door to significantly lower levels as as the market will basically start to calm down look at 10 year we have rallied uh, more than two percent today up to uh, above uh, three yet again and also above the 50 moving average so this market has kind of been all over the place recently so the bottom here and upper trend line and we basically around this area so if we break and then we may go all the way to the top yet again roughly 3.5 to the bottom we should see a major support around this area here which is at 2.7 after that we could drop all the way down to the 200 moving average technical indicators we can see the macd is bullish stochastic is also bullish and rsi is bullish as well so Hope you found this helpful. You want to support us by subscribing, hit the like button, the bell button to see our new videos. And good luck and thank you very much.